Good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody here tonight to our remembrance service. And I'd like to ask Chief of the Peace Coast Fire Department, Bob Fiorio, to lead us in the pledge and flag. Prayers at up. Detail. Present arm. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to introduce our fire department chaplain, Father Vernon, for the invocation. Father? Fourteen years ago today, the unthinkable happened. Our world was forever changed as thousands perished on that clear September 11th. We were shaken. We were horrified. We were terrified. Yet something else also happened. We raised our flags. We extended our hand to our neighbors. We picked each other up from the ruins and the ashes, and we stood together with greater resolve, with renewed commitment, and with unyielding strength in the vision and virtues of America. We learned and we discovered that when we stand together in faith and in solidarity, when we reach across the social, cultural, and religious lines that divide us, when we lift our voices in prayer, in hope, and in a shared brotherhood, nothing can break our spirits and nothing can destroy us. Dear God, as we gathered here tonight to remember and to reflect, let us also renew our commitment to you and to each other. Let us renew our commitment to solidarity and to shared society. Let us renew our faith in the fundamental truth that together and united, we shall not be afraid. Amen. Thank you, Father. I'd like to introduce some people that are here with us tonight. First and foremost, Gene Otis and family. Thank you, Gene, for coming out. We also have Mayor of the City of Peekskill, Frank Catalina, and Councilman Joe Torres. With us, we have the Chief of the Peekskill Police Department, Eric Johansson, and Captain Paul Stoligo. From the Peekskill Fire Department, we have Chief Bob Fiorio, First Assistant Chief Vinnie Malspina, and Second Assistant Chief John Rose. We also have our Peekskill Community Volunteer Ambulance Corps, who we work very closely with under the direction of Captain Tim Warren. The Vert Plank Fire Department is represented by Deputy Chief Holly Haight, and Buchanan is here with Chief Reed, Reed Outhouse. I want to thank you all and take a special moment to thank you publicly for your assistance, especially at the 141 Fremont Street fire recently. Uh, it showed firsthand what mutual aid can do. And on behalf of the Pixco Fire Department, I wanted to thank you all. At this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor of the city of Pixco, Frank Catalina, for a few words. Mayor. I want to welcome you all here to the city of Peekskill, to this beautiful riverfront green on this very solemn occasion. It's hard to believe 14 years have gone by since that day. Uh, we in the city of Peekskill and, and throughout the country, it's still fresh for us. I think we should all vow that this day will not fade in history the way the December 7th date did. You know, when you think about what happened that day, a group of radicals tried to change this country. And they didn't try to change us because of who we are, but what we believe in. 
and the freedom of religion is what founded this country. But they'll never understand that they can never change this country. And we honor those that perished that day, but we should also be vigilant to make sure it never happens again and to remind our leaders that we are at war. War doesn't look the way it used to look. We don't invade beaches anymore or um, invade countries. It's not measured by a map of how much territory we, we take up. War today looks different. It could be at a military base down south or a subway in France or England, as well as a desert in the Middle East. But make no doubt about it that we are at war. And we should never forget that. And the, the stronger we are, that will ensure that this day will never be repeated on our soil. So thank you all for being here, especially the police and fire department, all first responders, the ambulance corps. All the citizen volunteers that made this park a reality. May it always be here. God bless you all and God bless the city of Peekskill. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Every year since 2001, we've gathered to take a few moments to remember the events of 9-11 and of those who've been taken from us. It was very personal to us. Tonight, we remember our brother, ex-captain Sam Otis from the FDNY and also Detective Charlie Wassel from the Peekskill Police Department. They were taken from us differently. Sam went to work on a morning of 9-11 in the South Tower of the World Trade Center. Charlie went to work at Ground Zero for months after the towers fell. Sam was killed in the collapse. Charlie succumbed to illnesses that he contracted while working there. In the months that followed that tragic day, we struggled to understand why anyone would commit such a grievous assault on mankind. As the days wore on, we witnessed a growing feeling of camaraderie and teamwork developing. Strangers were not strangers anymore. People of different political affiliation, government agencies, individual states, all found a way to work together as part of a team. Religious affiliation didn't matter. We became unified. We witnessed countless acts of kindness between people from all walks of life. Small differences were put aside because we were all united in our grief. And if you remember, we were all very proud to be Americans. We still are. Let us remember Charlie and Sam and strive to live a life worthy of their sacrifices because they deserve that. At this time, we're going to place the wreaths. The first wreath to be placed tonight will be a memory of our 343 brothers from the EFDNY. Placing that wreath is going to be Marine Battalion Chief Dave Bell and his men from the FDNY. Chief. The second wreath will be placed in memory of the 23 members of the NYPD. That wreath is going to be placed by our Captain Astrologal.
The third wreath will be placed in memory of the 37 Port Authority police officers. That wreath will be placed by our Chief of Police, Eric Johansson. The fourth wreath, in memory of our own Detective Charlie Wassell, will be placed by Captain Astrologo and Chief Johansson. The fifth wreath is being placed in memory of all who perished on United Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, American Flight 77 in the Pentagon, and all emergency service workers who have succumbed to illnesses contracted while working at Ground Zero, and also all responders who are now classified as emergency service workers who died while assisting others. That wreath is going to be placed by Peak School Fire Lieutenant James Brzee. The sixth wreath is dedicated to the area residents of our communities who were killed in the World Trade Center disaster. That wreath is going to be placed by Pixco Fire Captain Mike Sniffen. The seventh wreath will be laid at our Peace of the World Trade Center here by Chief Joe Hansen and Chief Fiorio.
Can we have a moment of silence, please? Thank you. With a bell toller, please sound the line of duty death. Order, arms. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call on Tim Murphy, who served his country well in Vietnam. He's quite a talented songwriter who wrote the Firefighter's Creed. Uh, it is a somber day. Those of us who were living then, there's several youngsters here who were not present. We'll never forget that particular day. I know that. Um, I actually wrote this song in tribute to our firefighters way back in 1998, but after the, the horrific tragedy of 9-11, I added a second verse, and that November the song was designated as the official anthem of the New York State Fallen Firefighters Memorial. I'll share that with you now, and as always, we dedicate it to the bravest. This is the Firefighter's Creed. There's a war that's being fought Without bomb or rifle shot There are deadly confrontations every day Where the enemy is fire And the casualties grow higher among those who place themselves in danger's way. It's a warrior breed of men who face the fires and fight again. When the screaming sirens sound their battle cry. With the klaxons blare the call, they'll be there to give their all. They'll lay their lives on the line. When the terrorists attack, stab our nation in the back, then our firefighters lead the way once more. With their brothers, the police, the volunteers and EMTs, they're there to, there to combat this unholy war. With the strength of saving grace, they met the challenge face to face, although the stakes had never been so high. They took the job and got it done, unsung heroes everyone, they laid their lives on the line. And when the flames are blazing high against the smoky midnight sky, you will hear their mighty diesels raging by. They proceed at greatest speed. It's the firefighter's creed. 
They lay their lives on the line, do or die. There's a piper on the hill in the misty morning chill. You can hear his lonesome bagpipes mournful drone. Another firefighter died, and his brothers at graveside will see his widow and their children aren't alone. For every fireman has to know that he could be the next to go. It's just the nature of the beast they can't deny. Every year they add more names to the Brotherhood of Flames. They lay their lives on the line, do or die. And when the flames are blazing high against the smoky midnight sky, you will hear their mighty diesels raging by. They proceed at greatest speed It's the firefighters' greed Countless lives have been saved By the bravest of the brave Years of training, endless drill Dedication, iron will Village, square, city, street They're the ones who take the heat At each station, straight and bell Still they charge straight into hell They lay their lives on the line God bless our firefighters. Thank you very much. That concludes our ceremony, but I need to thank a few people before we leave. First, I want to thank all of you for attending our remembrance. It proves that Peekskill will never forget. I would also like to thank the Westchester County Animal Society Pops and Drums for attending and performing. I would like to give special thanks to Mayor Catalina and our Common Council, also Acting City Manager Richard Lyons, Director of City Services Brent Van Zandt, and Acting DPW Foreman Mark Fetzer and our DPW workers. They help us out quite a bit. I'd also like to include all former elected officials and department heads who have supported us during the construction and maintenance of this memorial. I also would be remiss if I didn't send a special speedy recovery to DPW Foreman Greg Rich. He's always been here for us 
and I want him to know that he is sincerely missed. Also, I need to thank Brother Eric Warner from the FDNY for having his landscape company, Friendly Lawn Care, spruce up our memorial for this special occasion. And one more thank you. While we were talking about landscaping, I have to talk about our resident rose expert, Michael Stewart. Michael spent hours reclaiming our rose bushes that were growing out of control. He gave of his time, talent, and expertise without compensation. The results are obvious. I would like to respectfully request Chief Fiorio acknowledge Michael's efforts and award him the honorary title of PFD Rose Sergeant. Can you do that, Chief? We appreciate it. Before we go, we need to thank the quiet man, and we also need to thank 12 Grapes for equipment that they have lent us. Okay? The Peekskill Fire Department will gather on this date at this location next year at 1830 hours for our annual remembrance. Again, thank you all for being here. And Father Vernon, would you say the benediction? Please bow your heads and join me in my prayer. God our Father, today we gather under your almighty presence. While we feel great anguish to see so much destruction and experience so much pain, you give us comfort as we know that you are in control. Although the world can seem to be so broken, and so full of evil, we can be assured that in you there is justice, and there is peace, and there is hope. Even among such incomprehensible suffering and hurt, we know that you were there, right beside each of your children as they departed this world and came to return to you. Lord, we pray for a special blessing on this day of remembrance and ask that you be with those wives, those husbands, those parents, and those children who lost someone so dear to them and for whom today represent a wound that seems impossible to heal. Likewise, Father, we humbly pray that you give your comfort and strength to all of us Fill our community, our great nation, and our world with love and strength that can overcome any tragedy. Thank you, God, for the one gift that can truly bring redemption to our broken world, your Son, Jesus Christ. This I pray in his name. Amen. God bless you, and God bless Peekskill and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Father Vernon. Bell Toller, please sound recall. And would the pipes and drums lead us out, please? Thank you.